Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a South African hunter-gatherer. Uh, he lived in the time period that is the European Iron Age, so around the time of the Roman Empire. Um, and this is what he is predicted to look like. With my Nashakot 2, he is predicted to have dark brown color eyes, Greek shaped nose actually, and uh, black hair. As you can see, I depicted him here with Greek shaped nose, kind of a big Middle Eastern looking nose. Uh, with Wysek, he is predicted to have dark skin, brown eyes, and actually brown hair. As you can see, the hair prediction with Wysek is brown. Interesting. I don't know why they depicted him, why they predicted him with brown hair. I can't explain that. Uh, with Snipper Free, he is predicted to have black. Uh, hair, brown eyes, and black skin. He did not have blue eye haplotype one or any of the um, any of the other major blue eye haplotypes following it. But he did have some light color variants in Oka two that contribute to light pigmentation. Uh, he's also got some light color variants in Tirp one and IRF four. And by the way, on the screen, what you see on the screen, these are basically all the light color variants that he has. He doesn't have a lot. He does not have the European no-go learner mutation that protects against schizophrenia uh, and decreases the number of D2 dopamine receptors. So it's not even a bad thing. It says increased risk of schizophrenia and it's labeled as a risk, but it's not even really a bad thing because more D2 dopamine receptors is not bad. And he's got CC genotype in this variation uh, in TAC1, which is A2A2, which is also a very good genotype to have. Uh, also more or normal, normal amount of D2 dopamine receptors. Uh, he does not have this variation which increases the likelihood of being prone to higher nicotine dependence and impulsive sensation. I uh, did some research, this, this, the T allele here also increases the odds of schizophrenia. Uh, he doesn't have it, which is pretty cool. And he does have the derived OXTR, he does have the sociopath gene in the OXTR. Kind of interesting because this is not typical for Sub-Saharan Africans. He's actually got two derived variants in both. So it's not, it's not a typical result for Sub-Saharan Africans, but who's even to say that this individual is like a typical Sub-Saharan African? Because, because from my understanding, South African hunter-gatherers are very different uh, from any other human. Maybe in, for South African hunter-gatherers, the sociopath gene is a common thing. Um, I don't know. Another thing I found out from the methylation panel with a genetic gene is that he's got this very exotic genotype that uh, leads to impaired folate metabolism. This can be corrected with some supplements actually. Uh, so if this individual knew that they had this issue, if you have this genotype and you know you have this issue, you can correct your, you can actually help yourself by taking folic acid supplements. Very interesting stuff. You can check if you're watching my video and you're not sure, check in your file if you have this. Um, he's got this derived variant which protects from uh, my Myopia, pretty cool stuff, uh, does not need glasses to see in the distance, and he does not have East Asian EDAR. A lot of people say that perhaps um, these South African hunter-gatherers, they look a little bit East Asian, some of them have a little bit of uh, epicanthic folds and whatnot, but, and people say that maybe that's because they have uh, East Asian EDAR, but no, that's, that's not the case, at least not with this individual. This individual has very sub-Saharan African genotypes in EDAR, definitely not East Asian. This is what he scores with Eurogene's K13, and this is not a very good result because this calculator completely missing um, a component for South African hunter-gatherers, which are the most divergent group of humans uh, to live on the planet today. So they definitely need, there definitely needs to be a category. Maybe Eurogene's K14 could solve that issue by adding a component that's supposed to represent um, South African hunter-gatherers. Now, it would be interesting, how would they get, how would they find the allele frequencies for South African hunter-gatherers? Is there even some kind of a allele frequency database that contains um, allele frequencies for South African hunter-gatherers? I don't know. I'm not sure if there is. But this uh, group, if we had this group on GED match, that would be so awesome, guys. Uh, with um, G25, he is closest to Homani's son, which uh, which are South African hunter-gatherers, and he's getting modeled as a mixture of Juhuan plus various uh, Biakas and Pygmies. This is what he scores with MDLP K23B. If you've been paying attention to my channel for a while, you might have noticed that Neanderthals, for example, score mostly archaic human and then a little bit of archaic African, like 60% archaic human, 30% archaic African. Whereas uh, gorillas, chimps, monkeys, they score 100% archaic human and no archaic African. It's interesting that this individual has some affinities to Neanderthals and to uh, monkeys and to other basically non-humans with MZLP K16 scoring 78% ancestor. This is also the component that Neanderthals mostly score. Uh, so there's definitely some similarities between Juhuan North and these um, 
South African hunter-gatherers, this individual, and say Neanderthals from Europe or Denisovans from Asia. Uh, with the oracle here, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Johuan plus Biaka. So there is, relative to the South African hunter-gatherers, there is a little bit of a shift towards, uh, it seems, pygmies. This is what he scores with Africa 9, mostly scoring San here, a little bit of Biaka too. I like this cal uh, this calculator, it's pretty good for uh, Sub-Saharan Africans. Um, with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of San plus Biaka. This is pretty much the same as what we've seen with all the other calculators. They NG25 as well, he's getting modeled as a mixture of San plus some kind of uh, pygmy. With if you helix K10, this is what he's scoring, uh, scoring mostly sun, but there is also uh, pygmy, and there is actually Mbuti and Biaka pygmy are the biggest components that he's scoring besides sun. Uh, with ancient Eurasia K6, mostly scoring sub-Saharan African. He does have some affinities towards European hunter-gatherers. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. There is some affinities towards Europeans. Uh, and getting modeled actually as a mixture of Yoruba plus Goyetu, so a mixture of uh, a mixture of Sub-Saharan African plus European hunter-gatherer uh, with Gidro Epic Gravetian, uh, European Gravetian. I should uh, specify what kind of hunter-gatherer, right? With Gidrosia K3 also scoring mostly Sub-Saharan African, but he does have some affinities towards West Eurasians. Very interesting stuff. Now, thanks for watching my video until the end. You can actually download his genome in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching.